Today we're going to take a look at some word problems that involve the perimeter of figures. Remember, the perimeter is found by measuring the lengths of all the sides and adding them together. In this pentagon, we have measured all five sides and add them up. That's the perimeter. The perimeter of a circle has a special name. It's called the circumference. And the circumference is found by the formula pi times the diameter, or 2 pi times the radius. Before we get started with our first problem, I'd like to share a couple of vocabulary words with you. These actually will pop up every now and then. They're pretty good to know. I write this down somewhere so that you have it for reference. The first thing I want to look at is a special triangle called an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle is special because it has two congruent sides, meaning the sides are the same length. So if you have an isosceles triangle, you automatically have two legs, two sides of it, that are the same size. The side that's different is called the base. We have an equilateral triangle when all three sides are equal. And so if you have an equilateral triangle and this side is 30, well then so is this side and so is that side. With that said, let's take a look at our first example of a perimeter problem. In example one, we just so happen to have a garden that's an isosceles triangle. And who doesn't love a garden? I mean, maybe we're growing some nice flowers or perhaps strawberries. We'll make some strawberry shortcake. It says that the length of the base is two feet greater than the length of each of the sides. And they want us to find the length of each side if the perimeter is 20. The best thing you can do to start these problems and I recommend always doing this, is draw a picture. I've drawn a picture of my triangle right here. And it says that the length of the, of the leg, the two congruent sides, I know nothing about it. So I called them each x. The base was two more than a leg, and so the base, I said, was x plus two. And I usually write the other piece of information, the perimeter, on the inside. That way it's just handy and it's nicely organized. Now remember to find the perimeter, I add up all three sides. x plus x plus x plus 2 equals 20. Now I have my equation. I go through and solve it and I end up with x equals 6. Now let's answer the question. What are the dimensions of the triangle? Well, this side here is 6 it's simply x. This side here is 6, it's simply x. And the side down here, x plus 2, that side must be 8 feet. Now, looking back, I probably should have my let statement written out. And the side I knew nothing about was called the leg, and so I said let x represent the length of the leg. Now, in our next example, we have a rectangle. And it says about the rectangle that the perimeter is 40 feet. It goes on to say the length is two more than five times the width. Well, I know about the length, but I know nothing about the width. And so I'm going to say let x represent the width. Let's draw our picture. Here's my rectangle. And I know nothing about the width, so I'll call that x. The length is two more than five times that. So 5x plus 2, 5x plus 2. And my perimeter is 40. So I have the lengths of all four sides added up equals 40. I solve the equation, and I get x equals 3. That means this side here must be 3. This side down here is 5 times 3 plus 2, or 17. So the dimensions of the rectangle are 3 feet by 17 feet. Now there's a whole bunch of these problems for you to try. I'm going to ask you to pause the video here and try the third example. Once you finish the third example, come on back and let's take a look at your work. Let's take a look at your work and see how you did. For example three, we have a tennis court and it says that the perimeter of the tennis court is 228 feet. It goes on to say that the length exceeds twice the width by six feet. So I know something about the length, but I know nothing about the width. So I'm going to write my let statement, let x equal the width. Next I have my diagram. I have this side as x, and the other sides, 
twice the width plus 6, so 2x plus 6. Now let's write our equation. We have x plus x plus 2x plus 6 plus 2x plus 6 equals 228. Solve the equation, x equals 36. That means the dimensions of the court are now easy to find. x is 36, so this side here is 36. This side here, 2 times 36 plus 6 is 78 feet. So the dimensions are 36 feet by 78 feet. Now why don't we pause here and try the last two problems. Then come on back, we'll check them out and see how you did. Let's take a look and see how you did. On example four it says two sides of a triangle are equal in length. That means it's an isosceles triangle. It also says that the length of the third side exceeds one of the sides by three and they gave us the perimeter was 93. So here are the two congruent sides, x and x, and the bottom is three more than one of those, x plus three. Add those three sides together and it equals 93, and therefore x equals 30. Now let's determine the dimensions. This side is 30, this side is 30, this side down here is 30 plus three, so it's 33. So the triangle has dimensions of 30 centimeters, 30 centimeters, and 33 centimeters. Example five is a little bit trickier. There's some different stuff going on. Let's take a look at that one. On example five, we're dealing with a rectangle that we're changing. Originally, we had a rectangle, and the length was two times the width. And so, Originally, we just simply had x and 2x, but then we went and changed it a little bit. We made this four inches longer, and we took one inch away from this side. And so we had x plus four here, 2x minus one, and the perimeter of the new rectangle is 198. So now I write my equation, 2x minus one, 2x minus one, x plus 4, x plus 4, add them together, we get 198. Solve the equation, we get x equals 32. Nothing new there. However, be careful. They're not asking you for the dimensions of the new rectangle. They're asking you for the dimensions of the original rectangle, when it was x and 2x. And so the dimensions of the original rectangle were 32, and 64. So be sure that you always answer the question that they're asking you. So in summary, when you have a word problem involving perimeter, always read the problem two or three or four times. Once you know what you have and what you're looking for, then go ahead and draw your picture and write your let statement. Then write your equation using the lengths of the sides and the perimeter, solve, and then answer the question that's being posed. And that's how you work with word problems involving perimeter.